All right, we do have some difficult words here, but but let's see how the sentence goes. In 2016, Gabriela Gonzalez and, t- and team announced that a chirping sound captured by Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory antennas was direct evidence of gravitational waves, which skeptics had argued would be too faint for detection. So they found evidence. Detailed statistical analysis helped preclude, ooh, and tough word, uh, claims of the events blank, confirming the signal at a confidence level of over 99%. So strong words here, we're confirming it. So are we just saying that we want to confirm it? Is that is that kind of what this blank is? Well, the word preclude is a little weird. That's a bit of a negative word here. To preclude means to kind of rule out, to say it's not true, it's not, it's not relevant. So um, if we're precluding or ruling out claims that the event is blank by confirming it, then we want to maybe say like we're ruling out claims of that it's like, I don't know, not confirmed. These are kind of opposites here. Right, so we kind of have that double negative thing going on. This is definitely a twisted question. It's hard to untangle. The word preclude is a really nasty turn because it's just not a word a lot of people know. Um, maybe we can get that through other clues, right? We, we do have the idea of skeptics. We should know what a skeptic is, uh, someone who doubts things. We have direct evidence. So there's a lot of these other ideas that maybe help us here. But if I'm looking at that one sentence, we are ruling out the idea that it's not confirmed by confirming it, Okay. So are there things that mean not confirmed? Well, um, inconspicuous means like um, not noticeable. And being noticeable is not about being confirmed, proven. So this just seems kind of random. Uh, Discretion is about um, not telling people secrets, right? So if you are discreet, is the other word for that, discreet, then you are basically able to kind of like keep things to yourself and uh, not offend people or say what you're not supposed to say. So um, I just don't even know what that has to do with here, that this is this situation at all, right? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. And this is very common with some of these hard vocabulary word questions is that the words are, the hard words are just nonsense, but they just know we don't know the definitions of them. So that's what makes them tempting. And now ambiguity is one of those words you've got to know, right? It comes from, you know, ambiguous is maybe a more common version of it. But if something is ambiguous, it's unclear. So we're ruling out it being not confirmed. If it's not confirmed, it's unclear. It's uncertain, right? Uncertain. So that's what ambiguity is. It's uncertainty. And if something is not confirmed, that's perfect. It, it's got, there's uncertainty about whether it's real or not. So this seems really good. Probability, I think, is what most of you are going to put because you don't know the other definitions and it just feels like a safe choice, right? Because it does seem like we're talking about whether or not something is real or not. So there's probably real, probably not. Um, it doesn't really work here though, because it's more of a usage issue. That just feels really strange to put in there. But let's think about it. Uh, rule out claims of the event's probability. That, when we say probability in that way, it, we, we're kind of saying it, it is probable. So we're not ruling out that it's probable. We are confirming that it is definite, right? And so it's it's just very backwards. Like we really want more of like a negative word here, right? Not confirmed is negative, confirmed is positive. If something is prob has probability in this sense, I would be saying that it's it's likely. Uh, so that's kind of maybe more what this means here is it means like likelihood. But if people are skeptical of it then we're not ruling out its likelihood. We are confirming its likelihood. You know, we're we're ruling out the fact that it's improbable is more what we're trying to say. So that's sneaky. I, again, I think a lot of you, even if you know the definition of probability, you associate it with uncertainty. And so you're kind of going to be tempted into that. But it's not the right choice. This is not close. C is definitely the answer. But I, I get the, the difficulty of this question. There are some hard words, but there's also just a lot of twists and turns in the, the passage itself. That's a double whammy for us. So you got to know, you know, if this is a question where you feel like uh, with a quick reading, you don't know what's going on, pick your favorite letter and move on to the next one. But I would say don't pick D unless you're sure, right? Probability is a word you would know if it worked. So if you're picking it because you're just like, it's the safe choice. That's not really great. If if it's safe, you would if it were right, you would know because you know that word. The others are better guesses randomly because you clearly don't know what's going on. So it's probably something that you also don't know. But these are tough. You know, do the best you can. Learn more words, and these will become easier.